What's going on, friends? Sam Prentice back once again. I'm at Creality's HQ, and well, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. This is the Creality K2 Plus. Let's get straight on into this one. You are watching a master at work. Well, as some of you might already know, I'm out in China right now filming again with Creality, along with hosting their 10th anniversary in Weizhou. If you're watching this, then it's very, very possible that the event is now underway and maybe I'm on stage right now. <laughs> exciting stuff, but what is as equally exciting is the latest drop from Creality, namely the K2 Plus. This is a first look at a design validation test model and this model, you'll see what you will be seeing out in the press today. And between now and the production, you might see some minor changes. But this video is certainly a great reference for things to come. So there are a few interesting points on this K2 Plus system. First, it's a four color system featuring Creality's answer to multi-material under the name of CFS, which is Creality Filament System. The system here is shown in a block of four filaments, but it can be expanded up to 16 colors at this point in time. Now, the printer does look seriously impressive. The screen, the door, the multi-material, all seems really intuitive and very easy to use. And on that, the door, well, Creality have learned some valuable lessons in the community, and of course, from Uncle Jesse. Okay. So, of course, we put this to the test. In regards to the door, I know a lot of people have broken their doors, including Uncle Jesse, of course. What have we done to improve on this now? This is a different type of glass, and you're gonna shut this glass. I'll let you do the honors on this. Here we go. Okay, so anti-shatter glass, um, that's for you, Uncle Jesse. Oh, God. No, no, hang on, oh, hang on. Hang on. Pretty sure you can hear my tone of voice there. He was actually pretty relentless with closing that door with aggression. By the way, today's video is sponsored by our friends at PCBWay.com. Discover the future of electronics with PCBWay.com, your go-to destination for cutting-edge PCB solutions. From precision circuit boards to seamless 3D printing, they redefine innovation. Unleash your ideas with their state-of-the-art technology and unrivaled quality. Why settle for less? Choose PCBWay.com, where excellence meets your imagination. Elevate your projects, elevate your success. PCBWay.com, the leading way in PCB and 3D printing excellence. Anyway, let's move on to the build size. And I'm pleased to say that the build area on the bed here is 350 by 350 by 350 mil. The hot end and extruder system have been upgraded and now include a nozzle camera. This camera is for monitoring of the hot end and to monitor basically any build up or any print fails. While the bed camera is also acting as a smart cam along with a regular check of print on your mobile or Creality OS app. So the engineers here were asking what my first impressions were of this printer. And I feel like the K2 Plus here ticks many boxes. It's the larger multicolor Core XY delivered by a company that's been in the game for the past 10 years. And the better news is that it's more than likely going to be on Creality's open source list post-release for those who basically want to take back control. After all, that's their commitment, right? It also has a heated chamber, 600 millimeters per second on the hot end and 30,000 on the acceleration, which is promising. In addition to that, we've got fans left and right of the build plate, obviously for park cooling. So what is pretty obvious is there's been some creative licensing taken from other brands here that fall in line with what's in vogue, CMS, MMU, AMS, whatever you want to call it. But to be honest, I think Creality's done a pretty good job with what I've seen so far. So what are the things I took away with me? Well, 1200 watt power supply on this thing means that we're either running one or multiple, which is probably more than likely, maybe two or three power supplies inside of this. And we are probably gonna be running 24 volt into the bed. The hot end, by the way, heated incredibly quickly. And the fast Z homing is certainly much faster than the K1, K1C, or any alternative printers that I've been using over the past two years. There is a USB-A port on the side of the printer, which is just on the right-hand side. And that was the only thing that really kind of felt out of line. And the reason that it's mounted there is because that's where the motherboard lives. I did suggest perhaps that if there are any iterations of this, maybe mounting it into the side of the screen or potentially putting it on the front, much the same as you see on the K1 and the K1C. The filament ejection point and the nozzle wipe is located in the middle rear of the machine. This will mean that the filament waste will basically be ejected out of the rear of the printer and there seems to be no way or certainly no ideal way of collecting the waste or transporting it to a sensible disposal route. There we go. First bit of poop, look at that, that's hot. 
I did take some time to ask the engineers if there's been any advancements on improving the issues around filament waste by purging and ejecting. And although there was a very, very small amount of time to be had with this machine, I did feel like there was almost a lesser amount. However, there really wasn't enough time to test this in any great detail. The purge tower in this case was placed just to the left hand side of the print and from what I can gather they were talking about something called pressure release which sounded really interesting but I was a little unsure about what really pressure release meant. Perhaps it's something to do with the retraction or the changing of the colours. Now when I first saw this in the room I was really interested to learn a little bit more about the CMS system and the numbers that appear to be heating and humidity control. I had figured that maybe they took some tech from the Space Pie filament dryer and added this into that system. However, it just turns out to be a visual guide and Dissident will be your only friend. So the prints that I've seen coming out of this machine show that Creality could well be onto something amazing with this larger Core XY printer. And I'm talking about not just the prints you're seeing here, but other prints that I've seen in the building that have come from these machines. Although what I do find confusing is the differences between the Plus and a Max, but that's something completely different. The K2 Plus for me ticks many boxes, and I even got a label printed with my name on it. Couple of additional things here. Price at the moment is not available, but you might see it after the 9th, but the K2 certainly has potential of being a firm favourite inside of the FDM market. That's certainly if Creality are able to deliver this quickly with great support and quality control. What is safe to say though is that competitors inside this fast growing market won't be sitting idly by, but what is worth noting is this iteration has been in Creality's R&D brains since the launch of the K1. So news just in, I have a little bit more information on the CMS system because it also does come with RFID, so it's safe to assume that some or certainly most of Creality filaments will be coming with an RFID chip to work with this system. Also on the overall dimensions, I can confirm 495 by 515 by 640 with an overall weight of 45 kilos. So one last thing when I was looking back at the video, the linear Z rods are hefty. There's four of them and in fact I think they're the same size as the new V3 Plus rods. So this isn't the same system as you would have seen on the K1 or the K1C. Instead, you've got four rods and two Z steppers. Also, that bed homing, that's not sped up. That's in real time. So I think that's just about it for the first look on the K2+. Plus. Now, it's safe to assume probably here that this is part of a K2 line. So are we going to see a standard K2? Will we see a K2 Max? Or will there be a bigger Core XY from Creality? Well... Hopefully I'll be there to tell you about it, so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and we will see you next time. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Bye for now. You are watching a master at work.